Hey everybody, welcome back. It's kind of a rainy day here today. Um, kind of in between jobs, so thought I'd take a minute to show you a few things about this truck that we're going to be doing in the next few days. This is where I put all the parts that were at the shop. The old stacks, the tanks, um, these breathers. But what I'm going to be working on, and maybe I'll get started today, but these... Um, air tanks I'm gonna have powder coated black so and I also have new chrome straps for them so I'm gonna cut those off and kind of process them off the steps get them cleaned up get all the fittings out and get them ready to go to powder coat the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brackets off these boxes I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these ones or a couple other ones I have in the shed so we'll take the brackets off get them cleaned up get them painted get them ready to go on the next box these breathers need to be cleaned up. I'm not sure if I can get this rust off or not. I think they've been on the truck too long, but you know, I'd love to do one of those strapless breather conversions like guys do, so that would be cool. We're gonna chop these down, these screens down a bit, and give them a little lower look. Got the mirrors in the shop, got to, they're gonna be powder coated black. So have to go in the shop get the mirrors all broken down and kind of cleaned up so they can go to powder coat. So here's one of the steps I think we're going to end up using. I had bought a couple years ago these stainless covers here that go on top of your lid and then we polished out the sides and it also had a brand new stainless bottom step that you cut the old one out and replace it with that. So I think those look pretty good. I was actually going to put them on the 95 but um, I think it can wait for now. We'll do it on this one. Then I have to make a decision between that spare step box and the two other in the trailer, which is the one I'm going to use to make another one of these. Because here are the two hoods off the parts truck and the you know the frame, the purple truck, the 99. Which hood we're going to use? They both have their pros and cons. I've been kind of waiting for the body guy to come by and, you know, he can give me his opinion. But, you know, this one, the inside structure, the frame-wise, the top lip, it's bent down a bit here. I don't know if you can see it there. But it's pretty straight all the way across. There's a few little nicks in it there. But for the most part, and then this piece here, I think they could fix most of that. But they had put these ugly stainless things on there and they're actually all installed properly with hook bolts so those all have to be removed and with that corrosion thing who knows what they look like behind here hopefully they're still good um, I do have a new set of fenders front fenders to go on so there wasn't two good fenders there's not even one good fender between the, <laughs> the four on these two hoods so uh, I ordered a new set they're in the other shop, ready to go. This burgundy hood's a little bit tougher shape, but I think it'll be easier to get whipped into shape. It's got the same kind of issues with that bending around the top, split kind of in the same place. They both have kind of the same issues. It doesn't have any stainless panels here, so you know that's a lot less body work to do. But there is an issue with that, and I don't know why these get so bad, but this hood is actually cracked all in here. I don't know if you can get a good look at that. But see that crack in there? So I don't know if that's something that they would just fix. And if they did, how long it would last. But I'm going to leave that up to them. They're going to be here one of these days, hopefully to drop the cab off. So we'll get them in the shop here and we can have a look at both these. This is the grill surround we're going to end up using. It's in really good shape, no dents. Then we got a bunch of other chrome parts here, blinker bars, stuff like that. These are the fender liners. Those are the rear fenders and then the front fenders and the mirrors. So, you know, a lot of parts for this truck. I think once we get working on it and get the cab back, get set on, it set on the frame, you know, things are going to go really fast. So, Okay, guys, welcome back. If you follow my Instagram, you've probably already seen, but... Got the truck moved home to the uh, shop at my house here. She's home. All right, that's enough of me talking. Let's get back to work. You guys ever wondered what it looks like 
when you take the mirrors off of, of your truck and then take them all apart. Looks something like that. Anyways, another job done. We'll get those off to the powder coater. thing we're going to do is cut these straps off and get the tanks loose. Let's see if I can do that here from the side. Try the other side. Kind of got two birds with one stone there on that one. is the passenger side so we'll mark it down and we'll take a picture and see how all these fittings were we'll get the fittings out and the tank will be ready to go off to powder coating Thanks for out. Here we go, we got our brackets. I know I said we weren't gonna use these steps, but I'll show you why. This is the battery box side, there's holes rotted right through it. It's been welded on probably 50 million times here, I don't know if you can see that. It's all kinked and bent. Gooby doobied here and here. And same with this other one, it's not in much better shape. A little bit better, could probably fix that one up reuse it you know we're gonna cut this step out or whatever we use anyways if we could just straighten this up a bit but it's pretty pitted and looks bad so I don't think we're gonna end up using it but yeah I got my brackets all set aside we'll get those washed up 
get them descaled and we'll get them painted and they'll be ready to go on the new boxes. I got my tanks off. They're basically ready to go to powder coat. You saw the mirror brackets, they're ready to go. So yeah, well, I think that's all I have for this week, but I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and showing some support. Hopefully uh, by the next video, the cab will be back and I'll be able to show that to you guys. I'm not promising anything, but I'm hoping to. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Say hi, Todd. Hey everybody. What if you, you like the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> okay. <laughs>